In this video, we are going to go over the merging similar links section of the InfoWorks ICM basic tutorial from the ICM help. Um, so with merging, uh, this is a tool that you can use to further kind of simplify your model. Um, so in the previous exercise, we pruned the network and you can further simplify your model by merging similar links. So we're going to look at that in this exercise. Um, so to start, we are going to open the Langley pruned network once again. We can kind of see the pruning that we did previously. The orange links are the links that were pruned. Um, so if you just did that exercise, this will look very familiar. Um, and then we're going to set up the merging, some of the merging options. So to do that, we're going to go to the model menu and then click on simplify. And then we want the simplification options. And this time we're going to uh, define our merge options. And you'll notice that we already have the manhole areas, the manhole additional areas, and the conduits already ticked. Um, so these are the, um, uh, the objects that we um, are going to be uh, taking into account and merging when we use the merge tool. So we want to go ahead and keep um, these ticked. And so we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then in the um, similarity specifications tab, we're going to make sure we have the right options ticked here. We're going to keep this at 10 and this at 10. We're going to use ab uh, relative and we're going to use a maximum difference of 0.1. And um, so here we are defining that uh, the the merging of the links uh, when the when the links are merged, we are going to stay within ten percent of the um, the inverts in order for the links to be merged. So we're um, if you had, for example, a drastic change in um, slope. Uh, that would be a link that we wouldn't want to merge um, because we would want to account for that large change in uh, in slope. So we're just going to um, be merging links that have uh, basically is a, a, about a 10% similarity in slope. So we're going to go ahead and apply these changes. Click OK. And now we want to display the links grid and we're going to arrange the links grid to show um, a few uh, columns in the same, um, in this order that you'll see in the tutorial. So to open the links grid, I'm going to go up here and I'll make this a little bit bigger. And I want to move the length over to the downstream node ID. So to do that, I click on the column and then I click it again and then I can drag it over. So I'm gonna put it right next to the downstream node ID and I wanna do the same with the width. Click it once, click it again, bring it over, put it next to length. And then we want height, shape ID, and gradient. So let's see. Height. Ah. Shape ID. And then looking for gradient. Hope I don't pass it. There it is. Bring it on over. So length, width, height, shape ID, and gradient. Okay. So now we want to sort the shape ID in descending order so I can select the shape ID column, right click and say sort descending. And then I want to mark the links that have 
the, a shape other than circular. So I guess I will mark that. Um, so I'll select those. And then I want to find this selection in the geo plan. So I'm going to go back to the network and right click and zoom to selection. So it looks like we have a stretch of pipes here that are um, the OREC shape. And the tutorial says that these pipes form a run of open channels that lead to the storage tanks. So let's just take note of these. I suspect that when we run the merge tool, these are all going to be merged together. So we'll just take a mental note of what this looks like. And then we are going to find a run of similar links. So we're going to clear the selection. And we want to zoom in on the branch of the network that starts at node 44623605. It's in the northwest corner of the network, which would be over here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my node labels. So I'm going to go to properties and themes, turn on my auto labels. And so it looks like this is the node that we want to um, start with. So we can either select similar links using this tool or we can use the simplify option from the model menu. And then we want to select similar links. And then we want to click on the first link in this run here. So I'm going to click on that link. And it said that this run of links is not uh, similar enough to select. So, okay, we'll click okay to clear the dialog. We can click on links going down this run until we do find some similar ones. Okay, looks like these are similar, which makes sense. That's what we see in the tutorial over here. So to merge these similar links, we can go to model, simplify, and then merge selection. And when we do that, we get this dialog. We're going to go ahead and assign um, the subcatchment to, the, to this node. And I think that's all we have to do. If there are nodes to be deleted that have subcatchment draining to them, then you can choose to move the nearest upstream or downstream node. Great. We're going to choose the node and then we're going to click OK and we'll notice that the pipes are merged to a single link. So there was a node here, but that is gone now. So we can move on in the tutorial. So now we're going to click the, uh, the merged link with the edit object button. That's the one right here. Because we want to just click on the link and just double check that the link still has bends in it where it used to have nodes. So it does look like we have a vertice there. Um, so it does look like it bends properly. And then you can just repeat that process, that um, selecting similar links. And when you do this, it's all done based on those options that we selected in the um, beginning of the exercise. So I'll go ahead and merge these. Assign it to this node. And you can just kind of keep doing that. I'll do a couple more and then go ahead and um, commit my changes. The exercise says to do this until you reduce to about 48 links. For the sake of the length of this video, I'll probably just do one more if I can find one more. We can go back down to this simple one. Nope. Oh, there we go. and merge selection. All right, so um, then I can just validate the network. Looks like we do have some errors that we'll have to address and I'm just gonna commit my changes. And 
and click OK.